Ms. Lee, I'm not happy with my English score. Could you kindly give me some tips about how to get good grades on English tests? That's a good question. If you want to get good grades on English tests, you have to be a good learner first. What's a good learner? Well, good learners don't just study because of tests. They learn out of their own interest and always ask questions if they don't understand. Johnny, you can be a good learner because you're not afraid of asking questions. <laughs> in my class, good learners should follow my instructions and always get involved in learning activities. I understand. Oh, and how about games? Will we play games in our English class? Yes, we'll play some learning games. Such as board games and concentration games. Ms. Lee, since you're our new English teacher, can you tell us how you're going to teach and grade us? Now, you're surely showing a strong interest in learning English. <laughs> Besides using flashcards for learning vocabulary, I'll ask you to do role plays and make up sentences. That way, you can improve your speaking and reading abilities. And I'll ask you and your classmates to do some tasks in pairs, in groups, and individually. And I'll judge your performance as we do these activities. You'll be graded all the way through your learning process. So that you'll have more chances to show your improvement. I see. And how about previewing and reviewing? Do I have to preview and review the lessons in order to get good grades? Sure. Previewing and reviewing are important for any learning, not just for studying English. When you concentrate on learning, you'll know how much previewing and reviewing really matter. Believe me, your hard work will pay off later. Thank you, Ms. Lee. I really appreciate your explanation. And thank you for asking, Johnny.